Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my August favorites. I did miss July's. I just got a little bit busy and by the time I sat down to film, it was like the third week of August. I was like, okay, we're skipping July. Let's get into the August favorites. So the very first product I'm going to talk about is a perfume and this is by Penrose. This is Pillow Talk Poet. I freaking love this. I talked about this in one of my haul videos. It's just an amazing smell. It's so soft but like fresh at the same time. I absolutely love this and I've been wearing this almost every single day since I got it. I just, I, I love it. It's, oh. Mm. So this next product is also something that I mentioned in my haul videos. Um, this is the Kaurali Kuruli Beauty Elixir Spray. When I first got this, I was like, okay, is it really going to make a difference in my skin? Is it going to do anything or is it just like a beauty spray? Um, I still stand by that. I still think like I'm not seeing any noticeable differences in my skin. But I do love the smell and the way it makes my skin feel when I spray it. Um, if I don't feel like moisturizing, prepping, or priming my skin, or I just want a refresher, this has been really, really great. I just spray it on my face and it's like, like an instant spa. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's really nice. Do I think you absolutely need to go run out and get this? No. But if you have it, that's awesome. It's a really, it's a really nice spray. Next product I've been loving is this brow pencil by Benefit. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number 3. I love this. I've been using it every single day. I love the way it makes my eyebrows look. I love how effortless it is and I love the shade. I think it's absolutely perfect. It doesn't make your eyebrows look super overdrawn and fake, but it just makes them look amazing. Um, one side is a spoolie and the other side is the actual product and it's retractable so you don't have to sharpen anything. It's at an angle so it makes it really really simple to use. I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. I just really really love this and uh, yeah. Also another product from Benefit I've been loving is this Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. Sorry I don't mean to blind you there. But I have already hit pan in it. I love this powder. I think if you're looking for a great foundation powder with color and coverage, this one is going to be really, really nice. I know I've talked about this on my channel before, but I just, I've been using this like almost every single day. If I don't use a translucent powder, I use this because it's like super easy to just go like boom, 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 done. Um, and I haven't been wearing a lot of like super full coverage foundations. I've been trying to keep it a little bit lighter, but since this has some coverage, I think it's perfect to wear with more sheer foundations or like BB creams just to give you an extra piece of coverage. Piece of coverage. I don't know. But anyway, loving that powder. So I've mentioned on my channel before how much I love half lashes and I still do. They're just so effortless, easy, you don't feel like you're wearing them, but they do make a difference on your eyes. But I've graduated just a little bit from half lashes to full lashes. And this is the pair I've been obsessed with lately because they're so comfortable, yet they make your lashes look like you have like full lash extensions. They're so pretty by themselves with the full makeup look, glammed, whatever you want. These are also by Coco Lashes. These are the 501 pairs. I love them. They have a clear strap, strap, strip, clear strip. I can't talk today. It's really late and I've also had like a million coffees today, but it's okay. It's totally fine. But anyways, I've been really liking, liking these. I can't talk. Okay. They're great. That's all I'm going to say. When I tell you guys how much of a struggle it is for me to get through like one sentence without like stuttering, stumbling, or having this weird accent pop up, um, I just, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, but struggle's real. Okay, so let's talk about some highlighters I've been loving. The very first one is by Ofra. This is the highlighter in Rodeo Drive. And you guys, when I tell you that this is the most intense in your face, I can see you from outer space highlight that rhymed. Believe me, this is so beautiful. It's like pure gold. Um, I'm going to swatch this for you guys. Hopefully you can tell. Oh my God. This is just literally so beautiful. I love this and yeah. And the next highlighter I've been loving is this Kathleen Lights and Makeup Geek Collab Highlight Palette. I think they did a great job on this. I think all the colors in here are beautiful and they would go with a lot of different skin tones, which was basically the main objective of them creating this together. I think it's beautiful. I love the pigmentation. I will swatch this really quickly for you guys. I did make a video reviewing and demoing this on my channel. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, I love this palette. It's great. Congrats to you, Kathleen. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about some brushes I've been loving. I love the Morphe Elite collection, but they came out with an Elite 2 collection, and you guys, I'm obsessed with them. 
They're so soft. I love them so much. But I'm not going to sit here and go through every single brush one by one. I just really love the collection as a whole and I've been using these brushes only for the past few days. And they're amazing. I love them. If you guys want me to make like my favorite brushes type of video, let me know in the comments. I've been meaning to kind of like make one like that. But let me know if you guys want to see one and I will. So yeah, so now it's the part of the program where we talk about my favorite lip products. And I think a lot of you guys are going to be surprised with my selection this month. You guys know I'm obsessed with liquid lipsticks, but only one of these products is a liquid lipstick and the rest are not. I know, right? The very first product is a liquid lipstick and it's from Jouer. It's in the color Tawny Rose. It's one of their newest shades that they just came out with. It's the most perfect mauve pinky everyday shade. I absolutely love this and I love the Jouer formula so, so much. So yeah, I will swatch this on the back of my hand, but you guys, this color is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love this so much, you guys. Mm, it's been like my purse staple everyday shade. The next product is by Studio Makeup. I believe this is like a new makeup line. This is a smooth color lip crayon and it's the color Champagne. I don't know why, but I've been going for kind of glossy or just very balmy lip products lately. I just really like the color of this and I like just popping this on, like rushing out the door. It's kind of a pretty peachy, peachy terracotta color. I don't know, I really like this and it's very comfortable on the lips, it doesn't dry it out. It's not super sheer, it definitely gives your lips a pretty wash of color, but yeah, I'm liking that. So the next lip product is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's by Makeup Forever, it's one of their new Artist Rouge lipsticks, this is in the color C211. And I really like this. I think it's such a beautiful mauve shade. It's not super matte, but it's not glossy either. It kind of has like a creamy satin finish. I love the formula. I love the color. I've been into lipsticks lately. I don't know why, but this has been a beautiful color. And I feel like this will look good on a lot of different skin tones. And the very last lip product that I've been loving is something super recent. Mac sent me a package a few days ago with a collab collection they did with, excuse me if I say it wrong, Taraji P. Henson, she's the actress from Empire. They sent me two powders and a lipstick, and you guys, this lipstick, holy crap, it's the most beautiful nude lipstick I have ever seen. I wore this in my Kathleen Lights um, highlighter palette review and demo video. It's so beautiful, I believe it's in a matte finish. It's called Strip Me Down. Oh my gosh, this color is beautiful. I have never really found a nude lipstick that I love, but this color I love. It's not like pinky, it has kind of like more of a neutral, warmer tone to it, but it complements me personally so well, and I love it. I'm kind of sad it's in a collection that probably won't be around anymore. Um, it's not out now, I believe it comes out sometime in September, so be on a lookout for it. If you can get your hands on this, I totally recommend it. It's so freaking pretty. But yeah, those were all my lip products. I completely forgot to mention this palette that I've been absolutely loving, um, so I figured I would just do a little clip showing you guys the palette. So it's by Studio Makeup, it's the On The Go palette. I talked about this in my August Beauty Box unboxing. This is something that you are going to get in your September Boxy Charm if you are subscribed. And I think that is so cool. I think these colors are amazing, perfect for every day. I've been gravitating towards this palette a lot lately. The pigmentation is unreal on this thing, you guys. Look at that. So beautiful. Um, I did swatch the entire palette on my August Beauty Box unboxing video, so you guys can check that out. But I thought I would just give that a quick mention. So that pretty much sums everything up. I feel like I'm missing something, but I cannot put my finger on it. But it's okay. If I remember it, I'll just put it in my September favorites. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorites have been. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.